Well, I went out for a ride on Friday and things were pretty quiet, even though it was a nice day. But as I was riding around, I was thinking about the YouTube channel, Not Just Bikes. And why was I thinking that? Well, I was riding on good infrastructure for about 50 kilometres. And on the ride, even though it was quiet, I saw people who were using all sorts of things that were not just bikes. And I just wanted to showcase a couple of them because I think it's important to note that when shared path infrastructure is being built, it's pedestrians and all sorts of other people getting around on wheel devices, whether they're segways or skateboards or rollerblades or bicycles, you know, e-bikes, unicycles, tandems, tricycles, quad cycles, you name it. Uh, the, you know, we have so many opportunities these days for micro mobility. It's not funny, uh, yeah, and obviously people just should select the, the device which suits their needs. You know, for me, it's it's a bike without a motor because I want to build fitness and strength and all that kind of thing. Uh, for this guy, obviously, he's training for uh, for rollerball. Uh, I guess he thinks he's James Khan, and you know, and good on him. He was doing a great job of clearing the path of all those pesky pesky pedestrians. But for short distance mobility, I think things like the e-scooter are absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, if you're just going a couple of kilometres, a little bit too far to walk, but, uh, you know, not a big enough distance to worry about jumping on the bike, e-scooter is the perfect thing. You can do it in casual clothes, you can do it in a, in a suit, uh, you know, off you go. And then when you get to your destination, say it's the office, you can just fold it up and stick it under your desk. Um uh, you know, an even even better one, I guess, would be an e-skateboard. You could just oh, stick it under your arm and carry it around the shops or even stick it in the shopping trolley. So, you know, and then we have an, a, uh, um, an e-scooter going by. And look, there's James Kahn in that uh, unforgettable role in um, uh, Rollerball. But I also saw a couple of people in gophers just tonking around at about 10 kilometres an hour. And obviously, you know, a gopher of some sort suited their mobility needs. And because this infrastructure is here, they're out making use of it. They, you know, they're out in the fresh air. They can do their chores. They don't need a car, um, and it, it suits their budget and just their lifestyle and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think we we really need to think that uh, you know this infrastructure, when it's being designed and built, needs to suit all sorts of different types of mobility, um, different machines. And, uh, you know, people of all sorts of abilities and ages.